Welcome back to Powerhouse. Today we're at Veolia Technical Solutions, and this is a facility that recycles a lot of things, including CFLs and fluorescent bulbs. Talking with us today is David Brown. David, explain to us why it's important that we recycle those bulbs. Morning, Megan. Thanks for stopping at our facility. Uh, fluorescent uh, compacts will contain a small amount of mercury, about four milligrams per bulb. Uh, what we're trying to do is capture that and recycle that mercury uh, so it does not go into the landfill. Uh, we're also recycling the glass or the end caps, anything else that we're getting now, from that. Are CFLs and fluorescents the only bulbs we need to be concerned with? No, there's also your four foot, your eight foot straights, uh, U-bends. Uh, we also have uh, high intensity discharge bulbs, which are basically HIDs. So where should people go if they want to throw their bulbs away? Uh, you can go uh, to a website, uh, buyback program, box program, uh, or your local municipality. They might have uh, programs set up that you can take it back. A uh, facility to the, like this, maybe? Where you yes, that is correct. Off. Or even like a, a store, like a, a battery program, they might have something like that. Same type of deal. Sure. Now, you mentioned a box program. What does that mean? Uh, you can go online, um, and what we'll do is they'll you order a box, they'll send it to you for a small amount. And then you just do it through the mail? Yes. Well, we're talking about like bulbs that are intact, right? So what if I break a bulb? And I, I can't, I don't want to send it through the mail, and I have these pieces, what do I do with that? Uh, the best thing to do with that is uh, grab a broom or a dustpan, sweep it up, do not use a vacuum. You don't want that uh, mercury airborne, what we're trying to do. Open up a window. Um, and then put it in a Ziploc bag, and again, you can take that to your recycler. Oh, okay. Now, does it cost anything for, for people to come to a facility like this and drop their things off? Not this one specifically. Uh, our local residents are able to do that uh, on a Mondays. We also have, uh, your community will set up a, a program where you can actually take it to them on, like, on a Saturday. Same kind of deal. Now, do you see a lot of bulbs coming in here from residences, residential homes? Yes, we do. Actually, uh, there's about 51,000 just from the residents wow. alone that we are recycling. You're busy here. Yes, we are. Is this an issue at landfills that people, a lot of people aren't um, educated to know where to send these bolts? Is that becoming a problem? Uh, yes, and I think that's what we're trying to capture here too today. Uh, what we're looking to do is catch that so they don't go to the landfill and they can, you know, take them to their recycling center. Right, and I think it's important for people to remember that the mercury that's in here is so small, it's not worth freaking out over, but what you want to capture is collecting it in mass, and that's when it becomes dangerous, right? That is correct. Uh, we're doing about uh, 40,000 lamps per day just through this facility. Wow, well, why don't you walk us through the process, explain what you do here. Okay. okay. Uh, after it comes to our facility, what we're doing is we set up our first stages. We do uh, sorting. So what they're doing is they're, they're taking the material out of packaging, sorting it uh, so it goes to the proper machine uh, at, for them to recycle. We have a CFL machine. Uh, they segregate our four foot, eight foot, uh, our U-bends. And what happens is it'll go on our machines behind me, uh, goes through the wall. There's actually a, a series of machines where it, it takes it, free breakers, crushers, um, it'll take it back to the top side of our machine, and what we call trommels. And what, what that does is it's extracting the, the white powder that you see in the lamp, and that'll fall down into a drum. On the back side, you are collecting our end caps and our, uh, the glass. And both of those items also are being recycled, along with the box that a lot of the uh, packages are coming in. What is that white powder that you're talking about? That white phosphor powder contains the mercury. And in that uh, phosphor powder, we, are, we have a machine that actually extracts that mercury from the powder. And we're taking that powder once that's done, and we're actually sending that out to reclaim the rare earth metals. We can't beat that. This is a great service. Thanks so much for explaining to us how this works. You're welcome. If you'd like more details on places that you can drop off your CFLs or fluorescent bulbs, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.